coronavirus pandemic has had a hugely negative impact on people's well-being generally and particularly for young people. What we have seen and the research has already started to show is this increase in young people struggling with their mental health. I think the reasons for that are due to the uncertainty. There's also a lot of trauma going on at the moment and a lot of difficulty in actually processing things like grief and again like a lack of understanding and that lack of control particularly when we have government announcements every couple of weeks. Young people are left in this period where they're so vulnerable at that time, unsure of what's going to happen. They're unsure of what the next steps are going to mean for them. We have seen this massive increase in people struggling with food due to things around stockpiling. So people not being able to access the foods that maybe they felt comfortable eating right at the start of the pandemic. We're having this massive increase at the moment on this focus on exercise and healthy eating. And for a lot of people, actually, that is really triggering, but particularly for young people, it's actually creating a lot of young people with completely disordered relationships with food. So schools have a huge role to play when it comes to supporting young people, but also parents and carers and also teachers and staff with their mental health. I think quite often with schools, they obviously have so much to do on a day-to-day -day basis that it can feel really difficult to actually think about how we can bring mental health within to the curriculum, within to that day-to-day -day teaching. But I think schools need to make a proper commitment to actually be at the forefront of this. I think it's about actually getting involved in awareness days, it's about keeping that conversation going. Wellbeing governors are really, really important across the entire country because we need to have people who are leading the way in mental health. We need to have people who are talking about it and we need to have people people at that level, showing maybe their own vulnerabilities, but also equipping and empowering other people to talk about it. And that isn't just to check in with each other, but actually making sure they're holding schools to account. So often we all talk about mental health, we all see the statistics everywhere, we know the amount of people who are currently struggling, but if we haven't got someone driving that forward, it won't be seen as a priority because there so often isn't people who are championing it. What it means is that it just gets pushed to the sideline and we need to be then showing teachers and schools that actually it is really, really important. And it's so important that we're investing in it at that governing board level. I think for me, a real focus would be actually getting a string of events put in place at schools for both parents and carers and for young people and for staff as well, so that schools can have that whole school approach to managing their mental health. It's frustrating that we have had a pandemic that's put mental health at the forefront of this because obviously before the pandemic we were already in a mental health crisis. Right now there are so many individuals out there who are just kind of functioning at that high level. People who maybe struggle with food, struggle with over exercise, maybe they, I don't know, they go out all the time or they find ways to numb those feelings and their emotions they don't want to feel. That's just not living a proper life. We need to be educating people on mental health and getting this into schools so much more just by talking about things and sharing and raising awareness of mental health what it does is it helps other young people know they're not alone in what they're going through and actually what they're going through is something that loads of other people have been through people who've been through mental health issues are really strong people and they can be at the forefront of real concrete policy change and government change and even change within our schools as well